Rain Coast started studying juvenile salmon in the Fraser Estuary back in 2016, and we very quickly noticed that the Fraser Estuary was really disconnected with numerous structures like this jetty that really interrupt the natural movement of these, you know, really small juvenile salmon that use the area. One of the things that we know about estuaries is they're really important transition zones for juvenile salmon. But with these structures that we have in the estuary, we've found that these little fish are really getting pushed by these jetties while they're still at these really small sizes, while they're probably not really ready for the salt water. So we decided that one of the most important activities in terms of restoration in the estuary was really starting to connect those different habitats that have been disconnected, allow fish to access those brackish water, that mixed water area that they really need to be able to transition to the full salt of the ocean. So we just constructed uh, this breach of the North Arm Jetty here, and it's building off of another project that we just completed down in the main arm of the Fraser, which was the Steveston Jetty. So in the Steveston Jetty, we also created three 50 meter wide breaches starting back in 2018, and we've been monitoring them ever since, and we've seen really good rates of juvenile salmon passage at those other breaches. We really wanted to come to the north arm of the Fraser where uh, from our research, we saw that there were a lot of juvenile salmon using this area. So this is the first breach and we're hoping to create another two breaches so that we'll have a similar series of three breaches to what we created down in the Steveston Jetty. And we think, you know, creating these three large breaches in this very, very large structure will facilitate that juvenile salmon access and give them a pretty good chance of, of you know, finding those breaches and making their way around a little more naturally. Naturally.